Hello, this is Dave with Mountain Maple. Welcome to my latest video where I will be demonstrating my Smart Stop Sucker with the new Vacuum Sense feature. This is in models 3D and 4D. I hope you have watched some of my other videos to get an idea of what the Smart Stop Sucker is all about. So let's just take a look. The unit is running now as you can as you can hear. Um, if we will take a look at the display, um, we can see the temperature in the upper left is 37 degrees. In the middle we have battery voltage. On the top right we have uh, 25 inches, that's the vacuum. And I also have the vacuum shown on a gauge here. It's pretty close. It's all, uh, it's all plumbed in to the controller. And uh, bottom line, read some status information. You can see we're, we're at high vacuum. So with the previous generation of controllers, um, and, and with other thermostat type controllers, the way we turn the pump off is by temperature. When the temperature goes below a certain prescribed point, we turn the pump off. The problem with this is we don't know if the sap is still running or not. And if the sap isn't running, um, we don't know how long ago it, it stopped running. Either way, we have some inefficiencies. If sap is still running, we lose sap by turning the pump off early. If sap had stopped running earlier, we're needlessly running the pump and draining the battery then. Now let's take something we know about the SureFlow pumps and use it to our advantage. As sap flow decreases, the vacuum decreases. So by watching the vacuum drop, we know when the sap has stopped and when to shut the pump off. So we can see right now the temperature is 36 degrees, um, 37 degrees. I have a knob in, in place of the uh, temperature unit. So I'm going to turn this down. Um, typically I have the low temperature shut off at around 32 degrees. So I'm just going to run it down below that. And we see the display says on the bottom line, it says vacuum still okay. So we're still reading 25 inches. Um, now what I'm going to do is, is simulate a, a low or stop sap flow by bleeding some air into the line. And we can look at the what we're gonna what we're gonna see happen is we're gonna see the um, the, the, the uh, vacuum display 25 inches is gonna drop. We're gonna hear the um, bypass valve open and it's going to purge uh, the, the sap out of the pump to prevent freeze damage and then the pump's going to shut down. So let's go ahead and do that now. And watch it closely. Okay, here's some air. Okay, so we're dropped. We're down to 10. The bypass valve is open. Purge sap out and the pump has stopped. So right here we've just seen uh, the major features of of, of this unit. Um, we've seen that the pump continues to run until the sap stops flowing, which we, we simulated with the with the uh, vacuum. Um, we can see the battery power is, uh, is conserved, the pump diaphragm life is extended, and the unit will automatically restart once there is a freeze followed by a thaw, and we've already got the freeze. And the unit um, does retain all of the other features from um, from previous units, if you're familiar with those. So that's it for this video. If, if you want to know more about this uh, revolutionary new feature, shoot me an email. It's mountainmapleS3 at gmail.com. And I will have a limited number of units available this fall and winter. Thanks for watching, and happy sugaring.